What's up everybody, it's Shuflaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we are going to be showing you guys a coin method you could be doing with the new Thanksgiving promo that just came out. As of now, you guys can see I have a lot of coins. I have th almost 3.5 million. I have 3.3 sitting right now. But I did just buy one of the brand new cards inside of the promo to put into the set. So the promo, I mean the method we're going to be using today, you have to have money to make money. And there's like a little bit of a backside to it as you see we're just opening the tips they're just basically telling us how the autumn blast works and how to get your free cards you could also do this free by getting your free 92 overall and then you can put this into the tony romo set this is what we're going to be doing today make the coins as you guys can see I, i'm probably not a no money spend you guys can see that we're not no money spent this year last year we were no money spent i did this last year with almost every single promo made coins every single time so you're going to go into the Autumn Blast. You want the Tony into the promo, actually. Here is going to be the Tony Romo set you want to do. You're going to be putting in four 92 overalls, and you're going to get a 94 Tony Romo and his power-up back out of it. But the thing that is so much better than last year that is going on right now with this promo is you don't only get two of them non-auctional back. You get all four of them back. And then you can sell that Tony Romo back. And say if you have Patrick Peterson and you're gonna he's going to come play on your team, you could sell your Champ Bailey you had. You could sell your whatever corner you had sitting there. And then that will just keep up with the free technically free pat pete you're going to be getting because you're going to be putting him into a set and getting him non auctionable you could sell off that tony Romo or keep him if you want you can keep that power up that's going to be a good 400k if you could get this on early 500k i'm going to try to get this video out as early as possible and then you have like the fletcher cox he could easily come and replace a d tackle you could sell that other d tackle you have Brandon Scherf, obviously a non auctionable guard is something always good. You never want to spend money on guards. So this is always something really nice. And then Allen Robinson, this is the one where he's not going to, I don't know, I don't see him playing on much teams unless you're a Bears team team. Not the best. Or a Jags team team. I forgot he played over there. Not the best card. Obviously, if he was a route runner, maybe a little bit different. But he is a physical chem wide receiver. Not the best. So I'm going to show you. We're going to complete the set now for you here. It is a little expensive right now. You guys should probably wait. You could do the free one to get your free 92 overall and then do the set. But I'm going to do it for you guys here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to be making my coins. So I'm, in, I'm I am spending a lot of money right now. This is not what you guys should be doing at all. Don't wait. I mean, do it this early. Get your free 92 with the set, which you could do on from doing the challenges. And then you'll have one. I'm pretty sure they're releasing house rolls. So you can get free, two free 92s. And then you can throw them into the set and then pay for two of them. And then basically you're paying half for that Tony Romo. As you can see here, we're going to be finishing the set here. And then we're going to get our free a 94. Not free, but we're going to get our 94 Tony Romo here, which I'm excited for. I'm not going to be playing him. He is going to be getting sold on my team. But we're going to have four non-auctionable 92 overalls now that all could technically play on the team. I don't think I'm going to be playing Allen Robinson at all, but everybody else will be playing. Brandon Scherf will replace Will Shields. We'll have Pat Pete replacing uh, Champ Bailey. And then uh, who else is there? Then Fletcher Cox will re be will be replacing me and Joe Graham my team easily so as you can see here this is how I'm gonna do it so we're gonna go over to our lineup so now you can sell whatever guard you have here so Brandon Scherf gets just placed right in you go to your defense Fletcher Cox comes in get replaces me and Joe Graham just like that and then it's just you get to sell these players on top of having these non eligible and then you get to sell the Tony Romo as well. Obviously, like I said, you have to have money to do this set, so it does take a lot of coins. But the thing is, you can get two of them for free. You can get two of them free from doing challenges and house rules. This can make the set almost impossible not to make coins on. As you can see, we're going to go over here and we're going to sell our wide receivers off. We're going to sell this Tony Romo as well. Tony Romo's going for 400k as of now, very early into the set as well. So 400k is not bad at all, especially when you get to keep your other cards. This, this It's just like you get to keep cards too. You're upgrading your team as well. This is just the best way to make coins and make your team better. 
But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys get what I'm saying when you make coins by getting your non-auctionables. Last year in Madden 20, when I was no money spent, we had almost a full team of non-auctionables. But the thing is, your team is so much better, and you have a lot of coins stacking up when you get those non-auctionables that you do the sets. The team of the year promo, you know, there's a lot of promos coming out that you'll be getting free cards from just doing the set. You'll get return players and non-auctionables. Make sure you guys are watching the Derwin James things too. There's so many ways you can get free cards. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I'll see you guys in the next one.